My name is Stefan Edgeman. I've been to the summit of Mount Akea. I've served with the African Armed Forces and I've been to the treacherous environment of my comfy couch. But this time, I'm venturing somewhere I've never been before. The deadly rainforests of the Western United States. Every year, dozens of unsuspecting tourists venture into these woods for Christmas trees, to cut firewood, to hunt deer and elk, or to illegally dump their garbage. I'm going to show you how you can survive in this environment. And all that I'll have with me is this knife, a single match, and an unrelenting passion for coffee. <laughs> Well, my support crew has left me here alone. The weather seems to be holding steady, but I'd better keep moving if I'm going to find shelter and a gourmet coffee before dark. I've been running now for hours. I've probably covered well over 250 meters. I've got to be careful. The forests of the Pacific Northwest are home to the highly unpredictable Sasquatch. And I don't want to surprise one and be attacked without any kind of defensive weaponry. This is a very encouraging sign. This is the hair of the Sasquatch. And where there is Sasquatch, there is plenty of food and coffee for all animals, including me. I don't quite believe my luck, but I think I've spotted a Sasquatch. Look at the bugger, right there. I've got to throw something at the Sasquatch. Make it scurry away. I'll use this stick. Oh, he spotted it. He seems almost human. Oh yes, what an excellent bit of good luck. Just as I had hoped, the Sasquatch has had a large meal and left his business. Now, this may look awful, but it will actually be an excellent coffee when properly dried and ground. This coffee will actually be an excellent source of vitamin C, other nutrients, and a huge boost to my morale. Now in a survival situation, of course you won't always have a proper coffee grinder. So you've got to make do with what you have on hand. Well, what I have on hand will work perfectly. If I take off my boot, pull off my sock, and just take the Sasquatch sign, put it in my sock, just enough for about one to two cups of coffee, and then just take your sock, put it on a log, grab a rock, and now start pounding, grinding, just until it's in a proper sort of powder that will work perfectly for your gourmet cup of Sasquatch coffee. Now what I need is a French press, but of course, in a survival situation, I don't have one with me. However, I have my knife, and I have this log here, which I'm sure, I'm quite sure, I can carve into a perfect French press. So let's just see how it goes. I've been working for about an hour on this French press, and I've mixed together some berries and some dandelions, and given it a little bistro motif, and I think that this should work quite nicely now, with the handle and the plunger. Now I've got to get some water. I could get it from the shoreline, but that's where the Sasquatch has been, and I don't want to drink foul polluted water. I could get dysentery. So I've got to swim away from shore, and get the pure water, take my new cup with me, and get the purest, cleanest water that I possibly can. Now the water is very, very cold, but I've got to do this. Now, I've got to get a fire going as soon as possible before hypothermia has a chance to set in. In conditions like these, hypothermia can be onset within five minutes. I've got to move quickly. I'm literally surrounded by wood, as you can see. However, I can't use a bit of it because it's been raining for weeks here in the Pacific Northwest. But one thing that I always carry with me is a tiny bit of flint. This one is rather large. However, it should work in this situation. So now it's time to use my last match. Wish me luck.
Now I've let my coffee steep for four minutes, letting the natural vitamins and nutrients percolate through the water. Now it's time to press the plunger and give it a go. That is nasty, nasty stuff. But fortunately, using decision science, there is one thing that I always, always bring with me in survival situations, and that is at a minimum one pound of Starbucks Gold Coast Blend. It's perfect for these coast-lined survival situations. So now, let me give this coffee a go. I'll take off my plunger, pour in some grounds. You just want a few tablespoons for this size cup, and let me give Get some, go get some more water and I'll have myself a proper cup of coffee that will warm me, get me through the night and be a fantastic end to this amazing, amazing journey. Thank you for being a part of it and good luck in all your endeavors. Good luck then.